So it goes. All right, looks like we have the Grable opening. We'll see if it's the Greedy Grable. This is the Greedy Grable. This is the Mainline Grable. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're, we're playing this. I forget who that's good for. I think it's good for blue, blue and red. Um, we'll see. This is a good move. I mean, not a good move by yellow. This, this is good for us. Getting a, a one point for three point trade unforced by yellow is is typically good. I'm guessing we'll see this or this from um, red, but you know I'll just simply recapture and, and get my full three points back out of that king. So uh, we're in luck with this opening. I did have a double capture there, um, but I'd rather take the three points than lose two pieces for three points and let yellow run free, or worst case, do more damage over there. Alright, so we don't know who yellow is, but I'm guessing for a 1900 plus game, yellow is probably the most inexperienced here, or the lowest rated. We have a free move against yellow, might as well get that promotion in. Now, this or this is what I'm thinking. Um, my queenside development has been a priority for me recently, something that I've been considering. Uh, now with this, I think I'm just going to step back. Yellow has no follow-up attack there. If red wants to trade that, again, I'll be more than happy to give up, uh, give up those trades. Yellow has this now. I blundered there. Good thing uh, yellow didn't see that. What can we do? I'm just gonna further step back, rescue this so that yellow doesn't have that opportunity. I do have these. Um, we can do this. And now get in some more promotions. This is uh, has the potential to be a devastating attack by red, but it's being diffused, which is nice. We get in our promotion, we get our three points per piece. That's good. Now let's defend this undefended king. Um, I don't know, probably, probably this, just double defend that loose end. And then I want to be, I guess, looking at yellow. If yellow is continuing this attack against green, I want to be looking at yellow. Um, now this... This is indicating that red's going to keep attacking green. Um, so we have two choices. We can either try and push back against red, or we can interfere with yellow to stop yellow from attacking green while, uh, while red is attacking green at the same time. So let's do the second option there. I'm going to try and interfere by attacking yellow where I can. Luke is here in the chat. Hello, Luke. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday evening. I'm assuming it's e evening. It certainly is evening for me. Okay. Um, now, yellow's done something kind of smart here. Yellow has given us not a whole lot to bite onto, right? I don't want to attack these pawns because then I'm losing point value. So I think I'm going to let yellow be for now and try to engage with red. Again, when both sides are attacking green over there, I definitely want to be intervening. Although my fear is that once I trade off this, this king with red, um, we'll be in the same situation where there's nothing for me to attack. All right, now red's being smart as well. I think I'm gonna have to go for this. Just, you know, attack whatever I can from yellow that's not worth only one point per piece. Uh, red has this move, but green could always interfere. Um, what can we do? I, I'm not sure there is a whole lot that we can do. Uh, 
I mean, maybe we'll just have to start attacking pawns from yellow. Because green is in a uh, tricky situation. Okay, so now yellow is giving us an opportunity there. Um, rather than trade that... Uh, I'm going to do this. So, yeah. If I trade with yellow, then yellow gets an extra move against green. So, this move by green kind of threw us under the bus because now red got in that move that I was worried about earlier. I'm going to assume... Hmm. I guess I have to take this. I'm going to assume that green captures red here so that I'll recapture on the next move. Alright, now look at this. I did have to trade a, a king for a pawn there, which is not great. And red continues to engage against, uh, against green. But, here's the thing. Yellow has left very little defenses on his king side. I can walk in here and threaten a check against yellow. And that's going to hold off yellow for, for a while. I am going to get this piece, unless red intervenes. Probably something like that. Unless green throws us under the bus again. Yeah, I could get this in, I guess. Alright, so we do get this. As I said, that's a move... That's a, uh play that a more experienced player would probably have seen coming. So in a sense here we're, I guess, rescuing green. The downside is now that this undefended king, it's very difficult for me to rescue that or to defend that king. So I'm forever... Uh, forever scared about being attacked by red because yellow can at any point attack the undefended piece. This is also an undefended piece. I should have seen that as well. Yeah. The good news is, if red promotes here, when I capture, yellow has to recapture here and now doesn't have an attack on this undefended king. Um, and now would probably be the, the time for me to get my house in order with my promotions over here and my developments, seeing as everyone else is almost fully developed. Okay. So even though red and yellow have spent this entire game attacking green, it's kind of, kind of nerve-wracking for us as well, because if green falls, then we're the next target, obviously, but um, the other sense is that uh, green is the only other player on the board who will be attacking uh, red or yellow. They certainly won't be attacking each other. All right, red has a ton of material. Green has uh, a lot of points for the uh, for the harassment he's ensued or he's endured for this game. He has he has points to show for it, so that's good. Yellow has points, but not uh, not a lot of material. And what do we have? We have completed development, I guess. I'm hoping to see this from Green. Yeah. So now I can get in this, and yellow's going to be losing even more material. When you only have four kings on the board, you don't want to be putting yourself in a situation where you have forced trades. Because just like this, now yellow only has two kings left on the board. And you cannot mount a significant attack with two kings. Hello, Liquid Fire in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. 
Yeah, so now yellow is very damaged here. I think now is the time for us to get our center game on. Um, probably making room for expansion in the center as well. And then I'm not nervous about yellow because I'll trade off with yellow. Yellow has no chance at getting into the center. Uh, yellow doesn't want to trade that last king. I should say, a more experienced player with that material that yellow has would not want to trade that last king. Uh, that's not where we are evidently though. Now, I might go for this uh, trying to someday get some sort of mate, mating attack on yellow, but I don't think it's worth the, in the investment of material. I think red has spread himself too thin. He is trying to maintain his uh, uh, control over green here, but also trying to keep us out of the center as well. It's not not going to be easy to do. And now, yeah, with yellow down to one king, we'll very easily have access to the center through our queen side. Now things are starting to get serious if you are red. At some point, I mean, it's not an easy thing for any player to do, but at some point I think red's going to have to abandon these ideas about attacking green. Huh. I don't necessarily know what the idea is here against, uh, Let's try this. If green wants to get in this promotion, that might, now might be a good time for that. Or that. Yeah, if anything, we're saving green from another check. Although, even if green captures here and red recaptures, uh, green is in a bad, bad spot. All right. Yeah, so green doesn't even capture there. Thankfully, red is very distracted by green here. I think this is going to be... Well, I shouldn't jinx, jinx myself, but I think this is going to be an easy win for us. I even hesitate to bring even more than one king into the center. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of the way of red as, as quickly as possible. I want to trade that, yeah. And now I want to do this. I'll have enough moves to, to bring this king over here and block red from entering the center on both flanks. I think this was misplayed by red. Red got too distracted by green. I think if anything, yellow's going to get the mate on green. Or maybe there will be a standoff where green doesn't even get mated because yellow and neither yellow nor red want to give the mate to the other guy. But uh, we'll pretty much be walking into the center here. Nothing yellow can do. If red wants to trade with us, he can. In fact, uh, yeah. If yellow one, if red wants to trade with us, he can. However, I want to avoid giving red any more points than I have already. If anything, right now green's in second place. I want him to stay there. Now I'm not gonna sacrifice uh, the game, my, my first place, a victory on that, but if that's what we need to do, then that's what we need to do. I would much rather give, uh, give green second place. And like I said, here's a stalemate, well, not a stalemate in the traditional sense of the chess usage, but here's a standoff between yellow and red about who gets the mate on green. Green, I think, won't even get mated, unless there's some desperation play. Um, red knows that taking here would give yellow the mate. Now there's some idea of red capturing, or yellow blockading me with his royal king, even though that's a short-lived idea, I'll just, after recapturing, bring this king back over and force 
force yellow out. So it looks like yellow, red will probably be tied for... Oh, yellow should have... Or, excuse me, red should have made the capture there. Red would have tied for third place had red made the capture. Now I think... Yeah, it doesn't even matter if yellow captures there or not. Yeah. So... I don't know. Interesting that yellow there didn't... Uh, play better than he did.